Hey everybody and welcome to AK Pearl Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 terminal commands and how you can use these to customize your Mac and to perform other functions. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about terminal. Alright, so let's learn more about terminal. So all you want to do is open up Terminal by going up to Spotlight and typing in Terminal and just pressing on that or pressing Enter. Alright, so since Terminal is open and I have my commands list over here, let's jump right in. So before we actually begin, I'm just going to throw out this one thing. Sometimes Terminal can put your computer in an unusable state or just harm your computer, so do this at your own risk. I tested all these 10 terminal commands to make sure it worked, so just do this at your own risk and I'm not going to be held accountable if anything goes wrong. Alright, so let's start our first terminal command. Let's change the way the doc looks. So all you want to do is copy this piece of code from the description and paste it into terminal. And there we go. We changed the way our doc looked by making it from 3D into 2D. So that's really cool, and you can customize your Mac like that. But what if you want to change it back to the 3D way it looked before? Just copy the next bit of code that changes yes to no, and it'll change it back to 3D. Press Enter, and it changed it back to 3D without anything happening to it. So now let's watch some Star Wars inside of Terminal. Just copy that bit of code and paste that into Terminal. Press enter or return and there it is it's gonna start up alright so it will start playing Star Wars very very shortly and it is really cool so let's watch it alright so it's gonna start 20th century text and that is pretty sweet so let's watch this a long time ago in a galaxy far far away Probably a lot of you have seen Star Wars, but this is all in text, which is very cool. So I'm not going to bore you all day by watching that. Let's just do some more commands, because that's what you came to watch this video. So now let's change the dock magnification effect. So you want to copy and paste this piece of code and put it into terminal. And there we go. Nothing seemed to happen, but watch what happens. That is some serious magnification on the dock. But let's change it back to its original by going to System Preferences, Dock, just drag the slider, and it'll go back to its original state. Now let's make your Mac talk to you. All you want to do is copy this piece of code, or just write Say in Terminal, and you can write certain things and have your computer talk back. Hello viewers, please subscribe. So as you can see, it talked back to me and said, Hello viewers, please subscribe. And yes, I want you to subscribe if you want to stay notified of future content. But that is a cool way to have your computer talk to you. Now let's add a space to our dock. So all you want to do is copy and paste that into Terminal. And voila, we have a space in our dock where we can organize our icons. And you can add as many of these as you want. So let's say we want to add another one. We can organize our movie editing section. So if we don't want those, just drag them out like a normal application and they'll disappear. Or just right click and press remove from dock. And it vanishes. So now let's play some games. So this will be our 6th, 7th, and 8th, and 9th command actually. So. Let's play Tetris. So press or type in Emacs, E M A C S, press enter, then press escape, then press the X key, and type in the game you want to play. You can either type in Tetris, Pong, Snake, Solitaire, and there are some others you can search online for those as well. So let's just play Tetris. You can play Tetris as you normally would. So let's just place that block right there. You can just play it as normal, which is really sweet. So now let's play another game. 
All right, so let's close. Let's open up terminal again. Let's play some Pong. So type in Emacs, escape, X, and let's type in Pong, and we can play Pong. I'll just show you how you can play it. So you can just play it just like regular Pong, but I lost. <laughs> I don't know why, but I guess I'm not that skilled at this game. So there we go. We can play Pong as you normally would. Let's open back up Terminal. And let's play some Snake Emacs. Escape X Snake. And there you go. You're playing Snake. Pretty sweet. If you hit the wall, you'll die as you would normally. Let's close terminal and let's play another game. Let's play solitaire. Emacs escape X solitaire. There we go. We can play solitaire. I have no idea how to play this game, but if you can play it, that is pretty sweet. You can play that in terminal. And that is number nine. And let's jump into creating a recent app stack. So open backup terminal and copy and paste this piece of code right here. Do not copy and paste the arrows. That's what you type in next. So just copy and paste. Enter. Kill all doc. Press enter. It kills the duck and just press exit. And it'll the and it'll complete the process. But you can see you have a recent application stack over here where you have all your recently opened applications. So that is pretty sweet, so you can just press to open up those applications and you can also change the way it looks. You can have recent applications, documents, servers, vo or favorite volumes and favorite items. You can change the way it looks down here or just remove it from your dock entirely. So that completes my top 10 Mac terminal tips and tricks and commands. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and also go check out my website. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.